welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all the things that I have been loving through February, March. I just wanted to share with you guys what I've been loving. I've missed March and February, so I might as well just add them together in one video. So if you would like to see what I am loving, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I'm fighting against the sun. It is four o'clock and the sun is coming down so I do have my ring light to the side and I'm trying not to have too much of a shadow in the back but don't really like the shadow so it's gonna be at the side okay so I'm gonna start with makeup and then we'll go from there okay so I have been loving the CeraVe daily moisturizing lotion I had to pick up another one and this is a mini can you guys believe that it's literally the size of my hand and it was still like $14. Very expensive, but you can get this at any drugstore, any superstore. I usually pick mine up from Walmart or Meyer, whichever place I'm getting groceries when I need to. And I love this stuff so much. It's a very lightweight, milky moisturizer and it helps with my skin. My skin is normal to dry, so I just need a little bit of moisturizer every single day. Um, and it does not break me out, which is really good. So I really like this and I highly recommend it. Next thing, as you can see, my skin is very glowy today. And that is because I am wearing the Super Goop Glowy Sunscreen. I am loving this again. This is just a mini. And it works really well for my skin. Really love it because my skin has been going nuts. I've had a lot of stuff going on lately. It's been very stressful. And I just need a little glow to my skin without wearing foundation because I don't like to wear foundation very much. It clings to my dry patches. So um, having this sunscreen works really well as like a skin tint for me. Also, I've been loving the Unseen sunscreen. This is a mini as well. I think they're both $20. These are the minis. And honestly, I think they're really good and worth the price. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get the full size whenever I finish them. But I've had this one for a while, almost a whole year, and I'm still going strong. And I just got this um, Unseen Sunscreen one, and I really like it as well. So... Highly recommend this brand for sunscreen. Next, I have been loving CoverGirl. CoverGirl has been my favorite for, for mascaras lately. And this is the CoverGirl Lash Blast. And this is in the clean version, which means it's like vegan, cruelty-free, all of that. Um, it has really good products. And the case is mint green. I think it is so beautiful. <laughs> I love green, so I really like it. And it does push up my eyelashes i barely have any lashes so any chance i get to have a mascara that actually pulls my lashes out and shows them off i'm all for yeah i just really love covergirl this is like my sixth covergirl mascara in a row i have a bunch and i really like it so next i know i said i don't really like foundation but I am really enjoying this. This is the It Cosmetics CC Cream, Your Skin But Better, and this is the Illumination one. So it does have glitter in it, which I don't like. I hate any foundation, anything with glitter on it except blush. I found a way to use it, which is going very light-handed and not putting it all over my face. I just use it to cover up the redness on my skin and any imperfections that I want to cover up and I really blend it into my skin so there's no uneven skin. I kind of wish they had a mini because this is really expensive but it's working really good for me. I don't wear it a ton but when I do it looks really good. Okay so next is really random but this is probably a little TMI but I have been dealing with indigestion and acid reflux lately. I don't know what it is stuff I've been eating just hasn't been working for me. So I've been having a bunch of Toms and this is um, my favorite flavor so far. This is the assorted berries. At first I didn't like it, but after I kept trying them, I really like it. Um, I just thought I should tell you guys, I know it's so random, but they're just really good and they help me out because I do eat a ton of spicy foods. So these are great. <laughs> Okay, so I have a few clothing items, and the first one is 
this yellow Gymshark tank top. I got this in a medium. I love wearing this to the gym. I'm not fond of wearing a tank top like at all. I hate showing my belly area. You know, when you're on the treadmill walking really fast, it don't matter because most of it is covered and this is just really pretty. It just brightens my day when I wear it. So I really like this top and I have one in black and they're just so cute. I eventually want to get the whole collection. So there's that. Next, I have been loving my Columbia um, button up sweater. Right now they're on sale. So I would highly recommend you guys go pick one up right now. It is really cute, so comfy. I literally wear these like two days in a row because they are so comfy and this is in the tan. I also have one in a purple Aztec print and it's really cute and they are just, they're just so warm. I love it so much. Next, okay, these are <laughs> full of dog hair. Sorry, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. These are the Lululemon flared pants, AKA yoga pants, and I'm loving them so much. I just got them in the mail. Spoiler alert, you will see this in the haul. And they're so cute. They are super high-waisted. They fit fine on me, but I think I could have sized down because they are really loose and I can pull them all the way up to my ribs. I don't know if that's <laughs> what it's supposed to do, but yeah, I think I, next time if I get another pair, I will size down to a four. So keep that in mind if you decide to order online a pair of the flare leggings. But they're really comfy and I really like them. So next is books. Okay, you guys. So I read Neon Gods by Katie Robert. Oh my god, this is so spicy, so good. I highly recommend this book. I also got the second book. Well, I don't know if it's in order, but it's just like the next one in this collection, but they're like, they're not in order. Do you know what I mean? But this is Electric Idol. I cannot wait to read this book, but this was a favorite of mine that I read in January. The next series that I have been loving so much is the Crave series. Oh my gosh. I'm on book two right now, which, which is Crush Crave was so good if you have not seen my review uh my book review of crave i will link it up right up above me so you can check it out it's a really good book for um young adults and i like it if you're into vampires you definitely should read this and book two is just getting better so that is the books for this another book that i love so much that i cannot re wait to read again is gothicana gothicana i think that's how you say it i don't know how to pronounce it but oh my gosh, this. This book is like 10 stars. This is so crazy. This is so crazy. If you like dark academia romance, oh my gosh. Love it so much. It just gave me all the dark academia vibes and uh, the whole setting, the characters, everything. It's like a professor and student romance. So if you're into that, it's very good very good so those are the books that i cannot stop thinking about next is tv shows right now i just finished peaky blinders that is so good i'm really about to restart it all over again because season six is just finished airing on television and i think they're going to put it on netflix very soon so i cannot wait i'm gonna rewatch it <laughs> As soon as I can because I loved it so much. I didn't really like it in the beginning, but like after the first three episodes, you really get into the story and it's so good. Like I binged all five seasons in one month. Yes, I did. And I have no regrets. I have no regrets. February and March have just been big blur for me because of the accident and just being very busy. Yeah, those are the things that I can remember so far. So guys, that is most of the things. That is some of the things that I wanted to share with you guys that I have been loving in the month of March and a little bit of February. Let me know if you have any favorites that you've been enjoying, like TV shows, books, clothing items, anything. If it's like food also, let me know in the comments below because I love to have a chat with you guys. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video.